dragon sighted. What the holy smokes? Where is there a dragon? And I want no part of him. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, here's something I've never experienced. We have a dragon. Hey guys, Ray here from Two Gaming Girls, and today we're starting a new series covering the game Kingdoms and Castles. We're going to produce four videos covering the basics and my first impressions. If the feedback warrants it, or if my interest is peaked, then we'll continue the series from there. So according to its Steam page, Kingdoms and Castles is a game about growing a kingdom from a tiny hamlet to a sprawling city and imposing castle. It's a single player game. It's currently about $9.99, I think, on Steam. I've watched about half a video of the game so far, and I was instantly reminded of one of my favorite old games called Stronghold Crusader which is probably one of the best castle building sim games out there even now. Despite its older graphics, I think if I played it now, I would still like enjoy it. I, like every time I return to it, it's still a lot of fun. So check it out if you've never done that or play Kings of Kingdoms and Castles because I think it's a newer version of Stronghold Crusader in a low poly uh, graphics look. Um, so because of those similarities, I decided I was going to just jump right into this and get started. So I did a video already where I had never played the game, jumped straight in, and it was fun. Had a lot of, a lot of fun playing the game, but the sound quality was not the greatest. The music for this game, even though I had preemptively turned the volume down, it was still super loud. So now I've turned it down to like 20%. This will be technically take two, but I did not get super far, so a lot of this will still be, you know, relatively new to me. Um, so let's let's get started. Let's stop talking. Let's get started. We're going to start a new game. Um, so they have three different modes right now. That's kind of a creative mode, um, easy and hard. So we're going to do hard, uh, sorry, easy mode. And so this is the part I skipped by accident before, which is I just clicked accept without looking at anything. And there's two things of note on this first screen. One, you can choose your seed. So if I don't like this, which <laughs> oddly enough, I kind of like it. Let me copy it and see, can I paste in? Yeah, I can paste in. Um, I just want to cycle through so you can see some of the other lands, but I might go back to that one just because it looked kind of cool. So. From what I did learn the first time playing it, um, we want to be able to put our castle on a barren area, which is what I learned from Stronghold Crusader, but we also want to be not too far away from um, a quarry kind of place, which is this lighter stone, not the dark stone. I made that mistake. And near the forest so that we don't have to build roads for days to get there. So this map isn't too bad either. We could build right up in here. Um, is that, let me make sure before I say, no, that's iron. Let's see, there's stone quarry here. Maybe, maybe over on this side, there is, yeah, we could build here, stone, iron, and wood. So if this is a nice little corner to start in, we could spread out that way. Um, the other thing I missed was, I got most of these. So WSAD to move around, um, you can click and drag, you can use your mouse wheel like I am now to zoom in and out. What I did not get was that if you want to rotate buildings, you have to click on the middle mouse button. So we know that now. Let's go ahead and give this a try. I'm going to pick this banner because it reminds me of Raven. We're going to call this Nye, the Kingdom of Nye. We're going to get started. All right, so where was that little section I peeped? Right over here. So we have a few different indicators like any standard city building game. It lets us know how much wood, stone, this is food, and it breaks it down to what you're producing in the year, our goal from our taxes, um, and then all of our other resources we'll eventually be using. And then we have four main menus, the castle, which we can go ahead and start putting down our keep. Uh, let's put it... I'm gonna put it on bear. I'm thinking here, or hmm, yeah, here. And we're gonna rotate around so we're looking at it this way. Yeah, a little, 
I like this look. All right, so that's building. Um, the other thing we're gonna need is roads. So we're gonna need a road that goes this way. We're gonna do three roads that way. Um, and then we will eventually have to build some hobbles. I think we probably should build at least one now. So we'll do that. And what I really want, we need to get wood going. So we can before we have, I'm looking to build a forester. I had, it takes three little guys and they're going to go out and they not only chop down wood, but they also build new trees back up. So before we can do that, we're going to need a quarry and that can go, it should be able to go right here when we have 15 wood. So let's, before we have the four star, we can just kind of tell these guys to, to start cutting down trees. Let's go on this side. We're gonna chop down all these trees right around here, just to get us ready. So they're all doing that. Um, some other things we're going to need. We're going to need a farm. So the, um, actually let's click away from this so we can see a little bit better. So this lighter green is perfect areas for our farm. So let's go ahead and hopefully we can build them right here since, no, we still need a road. Still need a road. I was going to say, it's so close. What do you need a road for? Let's build it this way so that um, it doesn't use too much of our fertile ground. Let's go back to the food tab. We're going to build one of these to start with. And we'll wait until we can build up. We're at 10 wood. Let's go ahead and speed things up a little bit. And we're at 12 wood. So what I want to try to do is go back to industry is there we go. We can get this started. And eventually we're going to be able to get, um, we're probably going to need another house pretty soon. Let's go ahead and do that. And every time we make a house, I like to make a farm. Oops. We like to make a farm. Let's try that out. We need three wood. We can do it. One more wood, guys. Bring that home. One more wood. Let's see what everyone's doing. We have five people. No one's idle. So no one is not working currently. So I guess we should just shut up and wait and stop being naggers let's see what is this little guy doing so he is an apprentice level stone cutter so all these guys can do different they can learn different trades and they work their way up for the traditional kind of apprentice journeyman master grandmaster levels and they can when you click on them um, these little guys here you can see all the things that they have learned over the time so it's really cute um, very similar again to the game I used to play uh, but with a low poly look so let's see we're waiting on we have three people working so any any building you can click on it and see in this case what residents are here this is the head of household we have everybody is filled up we have yep we have 10 people then on this quarry we can click on it and it looks like there's four out of four workers in there right now we have two people that are idle which is great because i need them to cut down some more trees a few more trees maybe we cut down some trees up here since we can maybe build farmland over here eventually as well so they're going to be working on that we got the stone people going do we have our oh we didn't build our other um farm let's do that as well that's going to take one of our workers though so yeah no one's idle let's let's see how many how much stone we have 15 stone how much do we need for the forester oh, we have enough already yay let's get this done let's gonna put this maybe we'll put it here because then the road can continue straight down we won't mess that up um, another thing we're going to need soon because is a well. We can build that already. Perfect. I want to make sure the well can cover this little glowy area. It shows you how much of it is being covered by the well in case there's a fire. I want to make sure that any new farms that we build in this area are covered. 
um, any housing we build here or across the street are also covered so that looks like a decent area to build our oh, well all right so do we have people working on this one let's see there are zero of three builders let's well, let's keep them going let's maybe cut let's stop stone production for a second because we got four people I need them to go build this well up and I'm thinking the other thing we're gonna need let's see we're gonna need some more farms let's do another farm um, all that's good I'm trying to make sure we have everything covered we're gonna do some castle building um, after we have some of the basics finished but let's I want to do an orchard or an orchid orchard orchard uh, ugh, words as well that takes up four so we need 15 15 wood we're at 14 oh, there we go so could do something like this and then another one here and then another little farm there let's do that I think that'll look cute or maybe we put it um, can't see that well doing the snow but maybe up in here will be a little bit better uh, three people visited but none could find a home let's find out what our advisors so we can click on this and see what they're saying uh, sorry food storage are, oh, I know we're on it we're, we're building more food um, they're very happy it means we can tax them <laughs> of course uh, good day sir good day to you as well oops wrong button click away all right let's see yeah this is this we're not going to be using so all of our farms are going to be up in here at first we'll do one more orchard orchid orchard orchard ray work with yourself work with me uh too far from roads that's what the problem is let's pull this road one more out and then we can make another one when we have wood all right so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna build another one of these and we're gonna get some houses on this side and i'll be right back okay we're back so it that was kind of funny it took a little while longer i had to eventually shut down half the stuff going and most importantly the uh, foresters because I was telling these people to chop down these trees so we could build these houses and then trees were popping up they were building in the areas I was trying to to farm like over here they built some trees and they built some trees over here where I was trying to put houses so had to shut them down tell them what to do so I was thinking from here we build a few more industry things we have an iron mine we need a road to go just a little bit further um, while we're here, we probably should tell them to chop that down since that's where our road is headed and we're going to put an iron mine right there. This is a cool little area get everything we need. Um, we're probably going to need um, some places to put that. Um, we could do just a small... So where do we want to put that? Somewhere nearby? I don't think we're going to be building anything uh, I don't know it seems I was trying to see if there's a place to put it that would help with distance but this is pretty much the same distance as that I guess we just need it for all the the magnitude of it all so I'm gonna put that right there um, we have no idle people so we're probably gonna need some housing again already let's put that right there uh, we may have to tell some people to stop working yeah let's tell them we don't need you to fully work yet we need these buildings done we need this house done especially um and then we probably want to put up i'm thinking um maybe a wall right here for one side and then we'll build a wall through the woods on the other so let's look at that okay so let's when we need castle let's start with some wood um some wood walls can we click and drag now we have to place all right so all along there oh no wait 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 we need 
dragon sighted. What the holy smokes? Where is there a dragon? And I want no part of him. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, here's something I've never experienced. We have a dragon. And oh, it's a low poly dragon that looks... I should not zoom in. When we zoom in, he looks like a little butterfly. This is going to hurt, isn't it? Dragon, please don't come over here. And while I was doing that, I needed to not build this. Demolish, don't finish. Because that's where our gate's going to go. Oh, we're just, we're just, just going to look at the dragon from this angle and hope he doesn't head our way. Yeah, we're just going to, we're just, we're just going to hope that nothing happens and we're going to build our wall and just move forward and pray nothing else happens. We want no part of a dragon. Uh, are we out of what we are? We turned the forcers off, didn't we? Let's turn them. No, they, they're back on now. They're back on. What's taking so long? We need trees, people. How's our, our food's fine? Let's, let's shut you guys down for just a sec. You're not doing anything right now anyway. You're waiting. So, I need these trees chopped as soon as possible. We're just going to get this uh, wall up, and I think that's where we're going to end this video today. Congratulations, Nye is now a small village. That's amazing. Starting to get the hang of things. Yes, we are. So let's get this road down to the gate while we wait on the wood. And then, let's see. We can do this. So we need four more here. And then we need the, the gate itself. We're going to need some stone. Is that been stopped that has the iron mine is stopped but where is oh there it is that needs to be turned back on we're gonna need some more wood some more stone all right almost there we need 15 so five more of that we can do this we can do this um these cost seven so every time we get seven wood we need another 14 wood and we are good let's speed all of this up and hopefully get this finished really quickly before a dragon returns <laughs> not that this wall is going to stop a dragon all right i think we have enough let's finish this up bam bam and castle no we need we need oh, i was looking at the wrong thing we need 40 stone all right let's let's put this on some super speed um 40 stone. I'll be right back when we have that 40 stone. Let's check out our little people, see how they're doing. Looks like our he was a stone cutter journeyman. Now he's an agricultural grandmaster. Got 35 stone almost there. What's everybody else doing in our little village? Oh, look at the little houses. Oh, what are you two doing? <laughs> That's bad tea. <laughs> Saw a fairy once. Uh, oh, those two. Um, likes their home. That's nice. Probably because your home is not next to the people with the bad teeth that see things. Recently stepped in mud. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. We got enough. We got enough. Boom. Now we, well, I said boom, but that's just told them to build it. Let's hurry up and build it. Hey, <laughs> we did it. Okay. I think that is it for our video today. Um, we're going to have three more videos. When we get back, we're going to try to cut off kind of this area and do another safety wall over here with a little gate and a path going out. We'll start to explore some of this area over here, maybe this area down here. Um, I have a feeling that we're going to get attacked soon, so I just want to make sure we have some walls up. Hopefully, they don't land right over here, so we might have to build some uh, walls all the way around this whole thing before we're, we're fully secure. Um, the link for this game will be in the description. Again, it's $9.99 right now. If you like it, please go ahead and download it. Let me know how you enjoyed yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Take care.